Hey everyone, it's Victor here. And today I am in Edinburgh for Capital Sci-Fi Con and also I'm filming with a documentary crew. Now I've been filming with this documentary crew for a while now. We did quite a lot last year. It was kind of over the course of a couple of months. And the whole theme of the documentary is basically kind of life of a YouTuber kind of thing. And it's been really fun. It's been good. But they want to get a kind of insight into what it's like to go to conventions and stuff with the whole cosplay thing and like seeing what it's like meeting people in real life. If I, honestly, I'm, I'm a bit concerned though because I don't think anyone's actually gonna be there that knows me. Not that there really is a lot of people that know me generally at cons, but this is a con I've never been to before. But it's the only one, it's the only con that I could go to which was in the time frame of them filming because they, they can only film up until I've forgotten, it's like March or something. So this was the only one um, that worked within the deadline that they have. This is gonna be so embarrassing if no one, no one comes up to me and it's just like, okay, well. All right. So I just got the, would you call it a skirt? The skirt on. Again, I made this entirely myself. I've lined it with gold kind of fake silk that I got as curtain material uh, off like, eBay for, I've forgotten how much, it was like five pounds or less actually. That's how you do it. Um, so yeah, it's all right. Again, I did kind of rush it, so I don't know. It's, 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 it's fine. So looks good so far. So this is the weird bit. <laughs> These are the arms that I've made for Arabus, which I made out of like, what was it? Age five year old tights. So they'd be tight enough around my arms. Um, and I've ombre dyed them kind of badly and kind of like patchy, uh, then a bit of a patchy job. And I've also had to make four fingers and not five because in the canonical universe of uh, the Dragon Prince, elves have four fingers. Uh, so I basically put my ring finger and my pinky into one of the fingers of the gloves. But I made the, I mean, I made the whole cosplay myself. It's very tight and I'm worried that I'm going to like... <laughs> That, that it's gonna break when I put it on. I have actually tried this on before, um, but we're just gonna have to see. It's very, oh, the dye has gone all funny with it as well, but it doesn't really matter. It was, it was an attempt I made. I need to put this on before I put this on because the arms have got to come out of it kind of seamlessly. This is the kind of like body piece. So yeah, yeah, you'll see anyway. The black dye has got everywhere on it, like on the fingers and everything. Oh well, who's really gonna care? So I'm gonna have to function with four fingers all day today. Oh Jesus, this is tight. I know that this is a probably eventually gonna rip, but I'm hoping it'll at least last me today. <laughs> Just get me through the day and then you can rip at the end of the day, but not now. Not now. So, why have I got a weird taste in my mouth? That's not. That's not good. Why should I have a weird taste in my mouth at this time? Yeah, look at my... Look at the hands. As you see, I've got four fingers, but obviously you can kind of see my pinky, but there's only so much I can do. I'm not going to chop off a finger for a cosplay. Um, but yeah, the black dye has got on the hands. So that's not fantastic, but... It's all right. And I need to put all this on before I do the makeup because, like I said, I don't want to get purple all over it. I have the weirdest taste in my mouth. What is that? I don't know what that is, but I'm drinking water to get rid of it. That's so alarming. So that's what we're looking like so far. It doesn't look absolutely terrible, so that's a bonus. Can you even see that? There we go. I'm watching Shrek while I get ready because it's lonely in the house. I need some company, so Shrek will have to do. Right, I think next we're putting this on, which is... I don't really know how to describe any pieces of his clothing. They're all just a bit insane, so... I'm gonna carefully slide this on. Can you even see me putting this on? Not really got a very good angle for you there. Mm, this is awkward. <laughs> Alright, oh, no, that's fine. I got that. You see that? And then the belt goes over that so it pins this in because obviously it's a bit chaotic. So that's what we're doing next. 
This bell is so <laughs> handmade. Well, I handmade it, so that's why it's handmade. It could look worse. It could look worse. I did rush this cosplay so much that I wasn't expecting miracles. But I think it looks okay. Obviously, I I um haven't got the wig on or the makeup or the horns or anything, but it's all right. I think it'll look better once the wig is on and the ears are on and the horns are on and all that stuff. I've just painted my face purple, but I've realized that the tights don't look as the same shade of purple. They're like a much more muted lilac than my face. I don't know if that's, that's that annoys me personally. I probably will get a different shade of body paint, but I don't, I can't do that today. This is what I'm stuck with. So hopefully no one will think that's too weird looking. We can hope. But I'm getting into the full cosplay now, and I look very weird, so good times. I'm purple and I'm gonna party till I'm purple. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's good. This is the first time I've tried it all on and I'm actually really pleased. The horns haven't fallen off yet, but I absolutely know as soon as I have to like fix, literally just looking down just then they moved. That's terrifying. I am, I am so scared for my life here. They're quite heavy. They're like made of clay um, and well, it's tin foil and then wrapped in clay so it makes it smoother and then painted. So they are a little bit heavy. They're not like so much that my neck's gonna break off, but yeah. But we're just about to leave um, for the con right now and I have these guys with me. So they're coming with me um, and they're gonna be kind of filming the day and I think it's their first con as well. So it's gonna be very exciting, but yeah, we're all ready to go. <laughs> See you there. My horns fit in the car amazingly. I've got a few inches of clearance um, and we're now making our way to the convention building. Edinburgh's getting a lot of roadworks right now. <laughs> like that is, we've literally passed like five different roadworks. But I feel like that's just Edinburgh in a nutshell, yeah, really. It's, it's, yeah, so. How you doing back there? Oh, Good? Yeah, 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 and we've got Katie driving. They're excited for their first convention. Exactly. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Um, but yeah, I honestly think I'm gonna fall apart by the end of the day. So maybe it's a blessing that we won't be there for very long. Because um, uh, Katie's got work, so we can't really stay the full, I know, tears, many tears. Um, we can't stay the full length of time. We're probably only really effectively have an hour at the con um, but that's okay because they actually don't need much footage for their documentary so that's the kind of main reason I'm here actually so it's kind of like a work trip <laughs> rather than uh, for pleasure Business. but it'll be fun it'll be great um, yeah you would fit right in in that shop what, where? Purple glamour. <laughs> purple, gla purple glamour? Oh my god, yes! That is my, that is actually my shop, I own that. Aravos owns that place. <laughs> Photo op rooms over there. I just touched the dead cats. Just Aww. like, donk, where is it? There, there. How lovely. <laughs> We're gonna wander around. I think Gregor's just putting his jacket somewhere and then see if we can see people. I might make an Instagram story. I don't even know if you can hear me right now. It's very loud in here, but the horns are still there, so. So I'm inside the convention building now and I'm mic'd up um, so they can hear me better because uh, it's so loud in here. It's a bit crazy. Um, and we haven't actually found anyone yet that I know, apart from Hazel. We did see Hazel, which is the important thing. Um, but yeah, oh my god, it's warm in here. It's warm, and my horns still keep trying to fall off. It's very annoying. And there's a the table of, ooh, let's see who we've got here. Oh my god, this is the guy from Raven. I had a huge crush on him when I was younger. I hope we didn't hear that. I know that uh, Katie can hear everything I'm saying, so... <laughs> Oh my god, look at the cupcakes. They have vegan cupcakes. Gregor will be pleased about that. Oh my god, it's my boy. There he is. That is amazing. 
So this is the set room where you can take pictures. It looks so good. It's very sparkly. I like the star cloth as well. They've got E.T. <laughs> and they've got the throne. I kind of want to sit in that throne if I'm honest. That would be so cool. So this is kind of where the main stage is. I look extra purple in here. Insanely purple. Oh my god, there's like a shark one in the back. <gasps> that is so cool. Wait, I want to go see that shark. That is amazing. Oh my god. Look who it is! Hello. You may recognize Hazel from such films as We Are All Mad here. And also, Hazel's gonna be in my video, videos, very soon. I'm so excited. I'm We're, so excited. But I can't reveal anything about it. It's all secret. But yeah, get, get, used, to, get used to this face. You'll be seeing a lot more of it. Um, but this, this, honestly, this is the coolest room I've ever been in. Yeah, uh-huh. With like, all the sets, like the Gremlin. The Gremlins one is so cool. But I, I want to go sit in the throne the most, I think. I've done it. I sat on the Did I you? Sat with I want to see the picture. Yeah, Have you got it? I don't know who. We need to show the people. Hang You're on. so good at like the edits on these. It's amazing. Yeah, I tried. There we go. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. Oh my god, I didn't know they gave you the glove. Yeah, and the fingers move. You can move the fingers. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. What? But you should totally be in this. I. Because. This is just yes, okay, wait, I'll stop filming so we can okay. be in the thing, right? I'm gonna be, is, is it a TikTok? Yes, it is. I've never been in the TikTok you know? before. Wait, well, so it's gonna be a brand. Brand. I now have friends with me, I'm not alone. Found Hazel, we're all good. So I met a really, really nice person who happened to follow me on Instagram, which is very cool. So there was one person that knew who I was, which is really sweet. Um, and I'm currently still in the set room because I basically said, if you want to come see me, come see me in here. Um, but honestly, I don't know if anyone really is here. Um, but that's fine. I mean, we got here quite late as well, and other people might have already left. Uh, but it's really nice. It's such a nice con. I'll definitely come back because it's got such a lovely atmosphere. And the fact that we have all these sets, like when I've got a bit more time next time, I'm going to take pictures in all of them because they're so cool. I think there's, they're always different every year as well. So it depends on like what's popular at the time. But like, oh my god, the Thanos throne is so cool. So we're gonna wait here for a bit longer and then possibly we might have to leave and it's sad. But I might take some pictures of this when I get back to the Airbnb. And we can do that then. I'm loving this. Are you recording currently? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Do you want to take it back? Oh yeah. So I'm not sure if you can hear me. Oh, are you not going to start? That's fine, we have to go again. <laughs> I think we're gonna leave quite soon, which is sad because we haven't been here very long. even though I nearly got blown away because I was holding the umbrella and isn't it is it Storm Dennis that's happening right now Storm <laughs> Dennis so. which is Dennis the Menace like it, it's true he's here Love it. Um, end, oh my god we're in dead end yay <laughs> And this um, is where we murder Victor! <laughs> oh god! Suddenly it's the door opens rose. it. There's like an ejector seat and it just it goes right up. Um, so yeah, um, very nicely uh, Katie's taking me back uh, to um, the Airbnb. Of and they're not they're not gonna kill me so far. <laughs> uh, but it was a really nice day, it's been really fun. And um, what did you think of your first con? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, I think it was really good. I mean, I know it was work. I was rushing around and I was more just stressing really, about uh, the documentary, I but... Have more time just to yeah, I need to come back to another oh, convention when I'm not oh, filming anything, <laughs> so I can actually... Well, definitely, I'll show you the ropes more. if you come again, yeah, uh, not for work. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 
or something. Oh, definitely. You gotta do it. <laughs> That's another thing I've never done. You sh- who would you cosplay? I, I don't know. I would like me and my friend were like I was gonna shave my head and do the old. I remember that Max Payne three came out. All oh, right. Big like, horrible beards and like I was gonna shave my head and do the whole Max Payne big shaving head. Oh beards. my god. Hawaiian shirt, but just never got around to it. Aww. There's there's so many options though. Like literally, I'm a purple elf with horns. Like there's no like you know there's no restriction. Mm-hmm. You can just do anything. Yeah. So, no, I'm glad you enjoyed it, but yeah, I'm, I, it's horrible out there. I, my horns like fell off my head. <laughs> my makeup's starting to come off my forehead, actually. Look at that, that is atrocious. I can zoom in there. Um, and yeah, only met one person, I think, that knew who I was. Oh, there was, other, there was one other um, little girl that did came up, come up to me, and I think she might have known. She I don't know. She was sort of like, oh, because uh, she got a fright when I spoke, and I felt really bad. Um, but yes, yeah, so, so shout out if you're watching. Shout out if you're watching. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was really, it was it was nice. Well, I, I use adblock, so I don't know. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, you're the enemy. That, yeah. You're the enemy. <laughs> oh my god, I think yeah. I got that on the vlog. <laughs> Katie uses adblock. Oh, <gasps> oh. <laughs> Not on YouTube videos, of course. Well, for well. <laughs> That's the only thing it's for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to use the tiny amount of daylight that there still is in this window to get my shots because I obviously didn't bring my lighting equipment with me because that's a lot to pack. So I'm having to do the best I can in this window. And honestly, I keep saying it, but I can't believe I made this cosplay in such a short period of time. I know there's definitely things I can improve on, things I would do differently. Like this is annoying, having to pull this down constantly. But overall, I actually am really proud of it, and yeah, it's ripped so much here. Look how it's just got caught on my belt constantly, so it's just like ripping. But you know, like like I said, his like robe thing is actually meant to be ripped. It kind of looks sort of ripped, so I'm fine with that. But I'm gonna try and get as many photos as I can before I lose all the light. I'm so upset, I just tried to take the horns off, and look what it just did to my wig! It just totally, completely tangled it up, and I'm gonna have to deal with that now. Also, the lighting is making me look really, really bad. And the makeup looks so patchy. Now look at that! It's coming off everywhere. I need to get this off as soon as possible. Like, right now. In fact, let's do that right now. Even though the lighting's awful and you cannot see me at all. Let's do this anyway. Where's the light? Is that the light? Okay, that's slightly better. Let's remove everything. Okay, so wig first. Wow. That's a look. It's a look. I'm gonna have to comb that out. Oh. Oof. What's it look like with my normal hair? Very weird. Very weird. It's my new OC. Okay, so what comes off next? The belt. Let's get the belt off. That survived, which is good. I'm using like Velcro at the back. Those things that you put on like the back of um, paintings when you like buying a rented place and you can't, uh, you know, put nails in the walls, those things. That's that off. This is not a striptease, I promise. I have got trousers on underneath these. Although, my trousers, oh my god, my trousers have fallen down so much because I, I usually have to wear a belt with these trousers. Oh. Skirt's still one piece, great, great. And now the ears, I wonder if they'll just Ow. Don't try that at home. Use a proper remover. Ow. Great. Good. Fantastic. I probably shouldn't get entirely undressed. On camera. It's like my moral compass talking to me. And then the very awkward whatever this is. It's been so tight on me all day. Nice. 
Oh, I have got some. Oh my god, look at my arms. The dyes come off of my arms. What a mess. I think it's because it rained. <laughs> I look so attractive. So attractive. I thought I heard someone coming through the front door. That would be so funny if Dan Jay came back. God damn, yeah, my arm is so stained. I need to hop in the shower like ASAP. We're going out for dinner. Uh, I just thought I'd let you know because I'm a vlogger. I vlog things. This is my life. Good night. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back home, and the calm was so good! Um, but I do feel glad to be home. February has been a bit of an intense month for me. So the fact that I was only at the con for such a short period of time didn't really bother me very much, because that sounds terrible, but it's true. I've just been like, oh, And you know, some stuff happened lately, and some really good news happened, which I can't tell you yet, because that's the next video. But I did really enjoy the con. It was really fun, and it was great, obviously, to do the documentary as well, which, if you want to watch, I will obviously post all the links to it in the description when it is released. It obviously won't be released right now, but if you're watching this in the future, it might be out by now. So, I'll share it with you down there if it's ready. I feel like it was a nice introduction to my first con of the year. I hope I can go to more cons, possibly in the summer. Um, I really, really want to go to SunnyCon again. I absolutely love SunnyCon in Newcastle. Love it. I really want to try and go to the Liverpool one as well, because I know that that's meant to be good, too. So, yeah, SunnyCon. Mm, so excited. Um, probably be going there with my boyfriend and his friends as well. So, yeah, I might do some couple of cosplays. Maybe we'll bring back Sebastian and Claude. Who knows? But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, I'm gonna go and maybe play video games and cuddle with Moo Moo. Moo Moo is my best girl. She's so soft and good. And it's like having Willow, my my real pony here, only smaller. I love her. I want to, I want, like, okay, this is weird. But when me and Dan and Jay play Jackbox, which is like a kind of party game thing that you hook up to your uh, PS4, um, my OC, or my name... <laughs> is always Moo Moo, and if we have to draw our character, like, you know, because in some of them, I think in Drawful, which is like where you have to draw really badly for prompts and things, um, I always draw, like, Moo Moo as a kind of cartoon, and I thought about starting a little, like, cartoon series surrounding Moo Moo and her adventures in life, and I don't know if any of you, any of you would ever read that or want to see that, but I kind of want to do it, because I've been drawing... Moo Moo as like a little like cartoon so much that I think I've got like a really good way of like Drawing her over and over so I could probably like make comic books. I don't know I feel like adventures with Moo Moo would be so cute and it's very against My gothic vibe that I usually go for but I do like cute things. And I can't help it. I just I there's such a contrast to me, but it's it's my weird part of my personality. I'm not gonna explain it or 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 apologize for it. It's just me. Anywho, I should probably go now because I don't want this video to be a feature length video again. Always happens with my videos. So I hope you enjoyed this con vlog, and I hope you like my Aravos. I will be bringing him back later in the year. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. And we will see you very soon. Bye.